Welcome to an Age of Empires 4 cassette game. We got in the color pink playing as the Chinese is Louis MT and in the color teal playing also as the Chinese is Baldimus Maximov, also known as Demo from Team Liquid. Welcome everybody, how are you doing? We got a match today, we got two of the best players in the world facing a mirror match. Demu playing the Chinese and Louis playing the Chinese as a real Chinese because, you know, he's from China. Uh, Demu, I'm not sure where he's from, I think he lives in the UK, but I'm not sure if he's from the UK. Uh, I think he's, I'm not super sure. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Talking about the comments, uh, if you are there and you're enjoying this video, give me a like and subscribe if you want to watch more Age of Empires for content and with that I, I will finish my ad section so um we got a mirror match inside this map it has a lot of water enough it we don't have any deep water fish here oh, look at this rock here amazing uh, we don't have any deep water fish here but still enough shoreline fish just so that you cannot ignore going for water and this is what both players are doing both are going for water now uh demu very well known for playing chinese he's a very 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 good player uh, i uh, did i hear some beats as i hear uh he uh he's very well known for using chinese I think he, he plays very well with it. He actually plays very well with all civilizations, but when he does play Chinese, he, he does, die, that, does it very well. And Louis also, uh, because, you know, I, I play in Asia server. Uh, I think I connect to Korea, so there are a lot of Chinese playing too. And you see, a lot of people complain like, oh, like it. I get all this match against English or whatever. In my case, I get match against Chinese. Because, I don't know, Chinese people like to choose Chinese as their civilization. And, you know, that's that's their thing. So, they, they play a lot of Chinese. So, it will be very in interesting to see what Louis has in mind. As a Chinese, you have a lot of options. You can you can go for for the Barbican Rush. You can go Fast Castle, Pagodas. You can go 2 DC Song Dynasty. You can do a Trubinu Mass... Uh, like feudal aggression with the Trubinus. Uh, you have so many choices here, so it will be very interesting to see what both players can come up with. Talking about Trubinus, I didn't know that, but I live in the city where uh, there was a Trubinu uh, exhibition where you can try the weapon, and just a few days ago, I. I I was traveling and I was showing a friend some places here in Chengdu, it's a part of China, in the west of China. Uh, they call it so west, I wouldn't call it really west because mostly Chinese is like you're either in the south or you're in the west according to your position in the river. So let's say this is the river, you live here, you're in the north, you live here, you're in the south. So it doesn't make sense but I guess it works for them. Uh, anyway, there, there was a there was a sword where you can try the Juvenu weapon. I was really excited, but they, I, I think they remove it, so there won't be any any Juvenus. Uh, I won't I won't be able to try it. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to try it soon. Uh, the name comes from uh, I I think it was a commander or some kind of politician. I'm not super sure that uh, was. I don't know if. The one who invented this weapon or in charge of the construction of this weapon but it, it, it's there it's there it just shows you how historically accurate this these guys from relic are they do a lot of research before doing any any civilization the second dog going for demo see if louis also has a second dog you want to have the advantage here and the double dog always always really good really good you can Think of it as a second town center you have a lot of you can only focus these villagers gathering wood and all these ships on food what a very very passive game here uh so far no signs of aging up for both players uh they both going into into gold 
uh, Louis only with three. Actually, he has the military academy going on now. So yeah, so it's gonna be the. Uh, is the same military academy? I got just got trained by. It's the Imperial Academy. Where you can train Imperial officials. Co can collect tablets for you. Push the workers to work harder. I'm gonna see the same here because the Barbican doesn't make much sense at this point where your opponent is also a civilization that benefits from the long run. His economy and everything on the long run has compound effect. Like if you think about it, each one of them, like Imperial official, will basically uh, supervive this mill or this lumber cap and everyone will give extra 20% and that's not like a doesn't seem like much like you can see like it's like 12 here let's let's see how you know, when one of this there you go 12 but it's like in the compound effect if you add 20% over a long run and if you increase the number of villagers you have so much extra resources and we see a dog coming from from louis here a sneaky dog here it looks like them who hasn't scouted yet and we see the first junk going to uh surprise them and uh, there you go now junk uh, doing uh we see that the same response from from Demu, but Louis already has the advantage getting the first junk here. Demu will will have to to focus on destroying this junk, maybe with some military or or with his own junk itself. Remember, uh, ships can can repair, repair. So these are if you micro well, uh, your fishing ships can serve as a as a repairing ships but looks like two two ships are not gonna be no look at it uh, ships repairing them or ship going off for them who looks like he won't be able to get one uh, managed to get a kill here second military ship going out for louis but another demo ships going up for them who looks like he's gonna get a hit he did he does he does get a hit here he, he retreats he retreats another demo ship going out I mean, what is this sneaky villager doing? Another demo ship looks like it will it will hit the target. It, indeed, it does. Remember, demo has two dogs here. So uh, in, indeed, he has the advantage. But now, Louis is surrounding demo with. The double dog in the in the corner. I'm not sure if Demu knows about this. He, he does. He does see it. He needs to keep building, keep keep building ships. Looks like the demo ship will be the his answer. Uh, more more demo ships. So far, no military units for both players. So there is no possibility of contesting uh, this dog. Looks like Demo in trouble here. Jan getting a fishing ship down. The, remember, this counts as worker kill, so you don't want to lose those. Another Demo ship. Looks like Demo is spamming Demo ships all over the place. Looks like he, he kind of gave up on this dog already. The machine managed to get some damage here, but looks like he won't be able to get a second shot. The family is in trouble here. Losing a lot of fishing ships. And losing a lot of military units. Looks like he will give up on the water this time. Let's... So, another demo ship. If there's someone who can save the day, it's a demo ship here. As soon as this one goes up. Uh, come on, just get it, get it. Oh my god, so unfortunate. So unfortunate. He had all those ships together. One demo ship can really change the tides here. More military units. 
Going for the Dewey. And it looks like he will be the winner on the waterfront here. Keep expanding military. And they will. Uh, and we are already in the Song Dynasty with a Barbican here securing his dog. Demu in a very tough position. He will get behind the villager count. Looks like he will go to gather some food for with a ship. He still has some some deer pack here and another one here, but that's it. And this one will be hard with those ships patrolling. It's like Demu not giving up yet on the water. I mean, cap, cap population cap. You don't have. You don't want to have population cap at this time. I mean, you need to build a house or a village or whatever. There you go. But the, sadly, the jump goes down. Demu in a very tough position here, trying to secure the water, but looks like um, he won't be able to do so. Let's check everyone's economy, how they're doing. 800 food for Louis. He's macroing for Castle Age. Demu with an ex... Uh, that's, that's a lot of gold, Demu. <laughs> you, you know, if it happens to you where you have a lot of resources and you don't spend it because you're too focused on one thing, well, don't feel bad. This guy is a really good player. It happened to him. It can happen to anyone. That's why some people like to create a market to balance their economy a little bit, trade some resources, like sell some gold, get some food that go to castle. That's what they like to do. But now they're in trouble here. He has a lot of gold. But, you know, that's the beauty of the Imperial officials. They just gather gold for you and you can just have so much gold. Now, military numbers for Demu not looking pretty good. He's losing a lot of resources trying to secure the water and no fishing ships yet. M meanwhile, Louis with uh, a lot of fishing ships here. How, how many fishing ships he has? Uh, let's take a look. Like 10, like 12 fishing ships here and two, 14 fishing ships give him a lot of uh, economic advantage. Uh, more than 300 resources per minute for food compared to them who's losing the water and i wonder if this map if you lose the water you lose the game is it this kind of map because there is not much wood available uh there's not much wood available so if you go to parts it's gonna be uh it's gonna be very costly you, you won't have enough military production Louis already in Castle Age. It's like we went for the astronomical clock tower. Demo with uh demo check your gold. <laughs> you have so much gold. Well, what are you planning? What is them trying to try to do? And it's gonna be the astronomical clock tower too. If there is a way to get out of this. It's with Nest of Beasts. Nest of Beasts can really hit hard on those ships. And you can get control. Get, get the control of the water. Although no much shoreline fish yet. You still have a bunch of shoreline fish. Here you can get. That's like a tree. 1.5k resources. And looks like them. Uh, getting back to his game. Trying to, uh, he's putting in another dock here. Astronomical Club Tower will be out soon. The good thing is he have a lot of gold and that's something I see from Demu a lot. It's like I better have a lot of gold than no gold at all. And let's see if he if he will get the the nest of bees out. He has the resources to do so and we have the Springles. The Springles and Archery range. It's very interesting. 
Maybe we can go for archery range and sprinkles. Let's see what he plans to do with that. But Louis already in a very good spot with the water. He has the villager lead. You can see it in the economy. The resources are very, very. Uh, uh, there's a huge leap in the in resources. Spring lots. Actually doing a very good job, the spring lots. Getting a decent uh, defense. And you can repair those. You, you just don't want to lose it. But I feel Nest of Peace can do, really do an even better job here. And spring lots has the range. Remember these things have 10 tiles range, whereas this one has uh, 6 tiles range. So you should have the advantage. They move doing a really nice macro. Micro? Uh, repairing those sprinkles. Oh, crossbow man. Crossbow man joining the mix. Interesting choice for him. And Louis goes to Imperial, and with that, then Moose says GG. That's a clear indicator that his economy is way better than his. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Subscribe to watch more Age of Empires for content, and I will see you in the next one.